In this video, I am going to discuss about how to perform right circular rotation of an array in Cesar.net. So this code that I already written to save some time. So at here first I am going to execute the code. So at here I have taken one method move and here there is a main and this elements that is supplied 86421. So this go to add here a so a is the single dimension array and here after when control comes to move so move add here user created function or user defined function now here after it is start searching so add here it start searching the move now here after control comes to this position so add here i'm getting the output to a input this value and here after applying this code so and here this is now right circular and here getting the this output so right, right circular that means at here right side value or lost value that come first so at here this code that i pasted here so i'm going to explain this code so if you do the code control comes to main method here after that go inside so right here I have taken integer single dimension array A and it has this element that I supplied 86421. You can enter any kind of value whatever you like. Now here move method is there and here I supplied A. Now here after that try to search move method. So right here it find move at this point. And here whatever the value of A that accept by A double R. So A double R has this value 86421. Here after that coincide. So right here I have taken integer size or variable and here that count the length A double R dot length. So total numbers of element 4. So right here size is now at here 4. Now here after I have taken integer time variable here for J will start from 0. And here 0 less than size minus 1. So size is now 4, 4 minus 1 that is 3. So add here 0 less than 3 condition is true that coincide. So add here a double or 0 position value go to tab. So 0 position add here 8, 8 go to tab. Now here after a double or j plus 1. So j value is now 0, 0 plus 1 that is 1. So a double or 1 position value go to a double or 0. So 6 comes to this point and here after the next is time value go to a double or 0 plus 1 so 0 plus 1 that is 1 time value is now that comes to 1 so this position that 8 come now here after no any changes with 4 and 21 now here after loop continue j increase j is now 1 1 less than 3 condition is true that coincide a double or 0 position value go to time so 0 position at here 6, 6 move to 10. Now here after a double or j plus 1. So 1 plus 1 the value is 2. So 2 position value move to at here a double or 0. So 4 move to a double or 0. So this position the 4 comes. And here after time value move to a double or j plus 1. So 1 plus 1 time value move to 2. So at here time value is now 6. 6 move to 2. So this position at here 6 come. So it's a just a snapping at here. So at here new array element 4, 8 and here after 6 and in last 21. Now here after j increase j is 2 now. Take the condition 2 less than 3 condition is true that coincide a double or 0 position value go to tab. So 0 position at here 4. 4 go to tab. Now here after the next is a double j plus 1. So j is now at here. Uh, j value is now uh, a double or j, j value is now at here 2. So 2 position 2 plus 1 3. So 3 position move to 0. So 3 position 21 this 21 move to 0 at here. Now here after tab value go to a double or j plus 1. So time value is now 4 and j value is now 2, 2 plus 1, 3. So this 4 that comes to this point. So at here 
new value for count. So it is new array elements is 21, 8, and here 6, and here 4. So this is at here 0 index, and here this is 1, this is 2, and here this one is 3 index. Now here after the next two thing is j increase. So j is now 3. 3 less than 3 condition is not true. So that not coincide. Control comes to this point. So add your 8 over all new value is now at your 4. Sorry. This is the new value of 8 over r. 21, 8, 6, 4. So this is the new value of 8 over r. So first time add your a double R 0 index is now 21. So 21 go to now and you have to that coincide. So add here that print 21. So first time that print 21. Next here after A double R next value is now 8. 8 go to now 8 print. Here after 6 go to now 6 print. Here after 4 go to now 4 print. And if all the process turn, so here after that uh, comes to this point and here move method and here after this return add here this all values 21 8 6 4 here after console dot red line it take one input from keyword and terminate the output screen so add here that i enter 8 6 4 21 and after applying this code add here it's now 21 8 6 4 so this is add here right circular rotation in csop.net so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you